Hi, welcome to Art One. I'm Mrs. Larson. Um, I just wanted to introduce myself for both my online students and my in-person students. Um, in person, I'm going to be wearing a mask, so in this video, you get to see me in all my glory. Um, I just wanted to tell you what to expect for Art One. Um, I'm not going super in depth on um, procedures and stuff like that, just a little bit about what you can expect. Um, if you came to back to school night, you don't have to watch this video because I'm going to say exactly what I said at back to school night. Or you can watch it for a quick refresher. Um, the goal of Art One is to help you draw from observation. So if you're someone who loves to doodle and draw from your head, that's awesome. I love it. Um, we don't do a lot of that in this class. Um, I want to teach you observational drawing skills so that when you look at something, you can draw it with relative accuracy and don't feel terrible afterward. Um, so that's my whole goal is that you can draw something and feel kind of good about it, okay? So hopefully we build your confidence a bit. If you are someone who loves to draw from your head, um, these skills are very helpful um, for you to help draw things from your head even better, okay? Um, all skill levels are welcome. So if you're someone who draws all the time, great. If you're someone who never draws and doesn't know anything about drawing, that's awesome too, okay? Usually all my students feel relatively comfortable in the class um, because I only grade you on your personal effort and improvement, okay? I quickly get to know my students and your skill level and I am here to push you and um, expect you to improve and help you get better, but um, it's all individualized. Even my students who draw a lot and who have taken a lot of art classes, I usually say, you know, are you still learning something from this? Are you being challenged? Um, and usually they say, yeah, I've never learned it this way before. This is helpful. So, um, and then my students who, you know, drawing is not, doesn't come natural. Um, we are drawing every day. And so it will, it is challenging for those students. It is hard. Um, but as far as like your grade, you don't need to worry about your grade as long as you're trying your hardest. Um, you're gonna do fine grade wise, but it is hard work. It is hard to learn a new skill. Um, but I am sympathetic to those students. I equate it to like, I'm terrible at sports. I'm so not athletic, it doesn't come naturally. Um, and so, you know, I, I get it. All right, um, materials, things that you're going to need. I, there's a $15 class fee. Um, if you paid your fees at registration, then you paid that class fee. That pays for all the art supplies you're going to need for this class. Um, however, you can provide some of your own materials if you want. So for my in-person students, we do not have a space to store artwork in the classroom. So it's gonna have to go in your backpack every day. Um, so I am gonna provide a few things to help you stay organized. One, a pencil bag, which will fill up with pencils, sharpeners, erasers. Um, two, just a folder for loose items like reference photos, handouts. We'll write, we'll decorate it right on really big art. Um, I only want it used for art. And then a sketchbook. This is where all your assignments are going to go. Um, so hopefully everything will stay in one place. You just keep this in your backpack, pull it out for class every day, put it back in your backpack every day. Um, and when we move on to other things like charcoal or watercolor, I will provide those supplies as needed. Now, if you are online, Again, I will provide all those supplies, um, but you will have to arrange someone to come to school and pick up those supplies. Um, I'm not ready for that yet. I will send an email when I have everything ready to send home. Um, other materials everyone will need is a way to take pictures of your artwork when we have to submit them digitally. So this means a digital camera or a cell phone camera. Now you are gonna get Chromebooks. However, the Chromebook cameras are not great. They're very grainy. Um, so that is a very last resort. If you could not have access to any other camera, I will accept the Chromebook camera, but preferably you have something else to take pictures with. Even if you're on going to be um, attending class in person, um, we will submit some of our assignments digitally. That way, if you're ever sick at home or quarantined, um, you already know how to submit your assignments digitally. And so it's a seamless transition into online learning. Um, the way this is going to work online, so whether you're online for the whole first quarter or, again, if you get sick or something and you were in person, but then you have to continue online, um, I just upload demonstration videos like this, um, and you watch the videos, and then you do your artwork, and then you um, take a picture and you submit the picture, okay? Now, a big part of my teaching philosophy is 
coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching and feedback. Um, I'm kind of like a personal trainer. Now, I worked with a personal trainer. Like I said, I'm not like naturally athletic, okay? And I was working with a personal trainer and that personal trainer made me work so hard, so dang hard, um, and made me work past the point that I was comfortable. It was hard. Sometimes I hated it. Sometimes I complained. Um, sometimes I dreaded it, but that is the only way that I got stronger. So that's the same way about art. It's hard. And I am your personal trainer. I do not accept the first thing you turn in. I don't say, oh, good job. I usually say, all right, you've done great here. This is what you need to do to get better. And um, so I constantly provide feedback for you. And that's how you improve. Okay. Um, so in person, that, that's pretty natural in person. I walk around, give you feedback. Um, online, it's a little bit more cumbersome because you have to take a photo, submit your photo. I will submit my feedback to you, whether written or I'll film a little video like this. You listen to my feedback, keep working a little bit, resubmit a new photo. Um, so the process for getting that feedback is a little longer if you're working online. Um, but I want to tell you that straight up because I don't want you to think, I'm done with my assignment. I submitted it. Yes, I'm done. Um, very rarely the first thing you submit is done, in my opinion. For the most part, you should expect some feedback and have to resubmit again. Okay. Um, what else? I think that's everything for now. I wanted to try and keep my video short. Um, and then I will, send, I will make another video with more in-depth um, procedures and rules and things like that. Um, but your first assignment is going to be the survey about yourself and then the disclosure document. Um, so look out for those on Canvas and also look out for an email when I have your supplies ready um, for you to take home for those online students. Look out for that email as well. All right. Well, I'm so excited to be working with you this um, school year and hopefully everything goes well. Um, I wish you guys luck.